Hi all, my name is Raj Kannan. I am a physiotherapist working in Army Hospital, Sanjanagar, Bangalore. Knock knees, as the name indicates, the knees would knock each other when someone walks. Normally when someone stands with their feet together, there should be some gap between both their knees. In this case, there will be hardly any gap. As they stand, the knees will be always touching each other. This is called as knock knee. In medical terms, it is called as genu valgum. Normally, it can occur for both children as well as adults. Children under the age of 5, if it is seen, you can ignore it. But if it is continuously persistent or worsening after 5 years, then that should be addressed medically. Bow knees, as the name implies, the knees appear like a bow. Here, as they stand straight with their feet together, there will be a huge gap between both the knees. Technically, it is called as genu varum. It also can affect the children as well as the adults. Children uh, under the age of 18 months, if you see that, you can ignore that because that is a normal process of growth. But if it is persistent even after they start to walk, then it should be addressed medically. Both these conditions can be caused by various uh, common causes like uh, vitamin D deficiency. It's called as rickets. Nowadays, it is not that common. For the adults, uh, conditions like uh, tumor, infection, fractures, or people who are having uh, chronic arthritic changes, they can experience any of these conditions. In such instances, one leg will be commonly affected than the other leg. So, those conditions should be treated medically. Some people would require surgical intervention as well. But there is a separate category of this condition called as idiopathic genuvalgum or idiopathic genuvarum. It affects adolescents and the adults. In such cases, physiotherapy plays a huge role. The exercises like strengthening exercises, stretching exercises, posture correction, all will play a huge role in correcting the deformity. Plus, they need some bracing or splints uh, to carry over the effect. A yeah, good physical therapy intervention plus braces plus posture care all would be very handy in restoring the element back to normal.